I'm Megan, and I'm with the Pennsylvania Game Commission, and we're out here scouting for squirrels, getting ready for the fall season. Just walking out the trail, if you look around, you can see different trees, there's different food sources, and one of the things I noticed when we came out are these hickory nuts. Now, if you look a little bit closer, you can see that there's a lot of scrapings on these nuts, and there's a lot of pieces over here and cuttings, and this is from squirrels eating in the treetops. So if it were me, I would come in really early in the morning and I would set up at this big tree over here. It has a little bit more cover and I'm a little bit distanced from the tree so I can see the squirrels up in the tree a little better than I would if I was right under it. One of the best parts about squirrel hunting is how it helps you become much more in tune with what's in the woodlands and forests of Pennsylvania. You get to learn about the trees and the foods they produce, which is what the squirrels are attracted to when you're going hunting them. So everybody knows acorns, and we have a variety of oak species in Pennsylvania, but we could probably say it's easiest to categorize them in two families. There's the red oak that has sharp pointed lobes. So this is a red oak here. And then there's the white oak, which has rounded lobes. And the rounded lobes of the white oak are a really good identifying feature of that species. So. Here we have a couple acorns. Here's a red oak acorn and a white oak. The white oak tends to be more favored by squirrels, more palatable, uh, generally provides more energy for them. So typically, once you get in the month of September, some oaks will start dropping um, a few of their acorns, but peak uh, acorn drop in Pennsylvania is gonna be in October and November. Another tree species to try to learn as a squirrel hunter would be the American beech. So beech trees, B-E-E-C-H, are fantastic squirrel food. This is what their leaves look like. I often say they're kind of like a ruffled potato chip um, with the, the pattern of ribbing on the leaves and then they have a sharp tip at the end. These are beech nuts, very, very tiny. So in each uh, hand here, I'm holding a little beech nut. They have little um, sort of curved bristles on them. And when you peel them open, squirrel would peel them open, it'll discover inside two tiny little pieces of nuts that look like little um, little triangles. And so that's the American beech nut, and that's a very popular tree in the squirrel's diet each fall. So today we're out here in September in the, uh, the early fall uh, squirrel woods, we might say, and we're finding a lot of hickories that have been chewed on by squirrels. And so these are called pig nut hickory and pig nut hickory, the nuts are pretty small, about the size of a grape. And these are in various stages of being chewed on by squirrels. They're doing what's called cutting. So they're cutting the outer hull or husk off of the nut and they're getting at the nut meat inside. So these hickory nuts are all over the forest floor here. Thousands of them literally are here. They've been chewed on by squirrels and that tells us this is gonna be a primo spot to hunt squirrels this fall. The Pennsylvania Game Commission provides 1.5 million acres of state game lands that's available for public use. Anyone's welcome to purchase a hunting license and partake in the great outdoors here. I really enjoy squirrel hunting. It's a great way to stay out on the land a little bit longer than just in the winter. If you're interested in learning more about state game lands, squirrel hunting, or how to just get started hunting, please visit our website and find the Get Started Hunting page.